Ever wonder what you truly understand about down payments? This is where we dispel the fog and bring clarity. For starters, a down payment is not a fee or a cost that mysteriously disappears into the ether. It's actually a slice, a piece of the pie, of the home's purchase price that you pay up front. It's your initial stake in your new home. But here's where the plot thickens. Many believe that it's necessary to put down 20% of the home price. But that's not always the case. This is not a hard and fast rule set in stone, but rather a general guideline. There are many options available where you can put down less, sometimes significantly less depending on various factors. The world of down payments is not as black and white as it seems. There's room for flexibility and customization based on your unique situation. Down payments, though intimidating, are not as complex or rigid as they seem. Now you might ask, how do down payments actually work? Well, let's break it down step by step and shed some light on this often misunderstood part of the home buying process. To start, a down payment is the initial upfront amount you pay towards the purchase of a property. This is your first stake in your new home and it's deducted from the total cost of the property. The remaining balance is what becomes your mortgage. For example, let's say you're buying a home that costs $200,000 and you make a down payment of $40,000. This means that you're paying 20% of the home's price up front and the remaining 80% or $160,000 is what you'll owe as a mortgage. Now, how does the size of a down payment affect your mortgage and your monthly payments? Well, a larger down payment means a smaller mortgage and a smaller mortgage means smaller monthly payments. So if you can afford to make a hefty down payment, you're setting yourself up for more manageable payments down the line, but it doesn't stop there. A larger down payment also means you'll pay less in interest over the life of your loan. This is because the interest you pay is calculated based on the size of your mortgage. So the smaller the principal, the less interest you'll pay. However, it's important to note that just because you can make a large down payment doesn't necessarily mean you should. You don't want to completely deplete your savings to do so. Remember, it's crucial to have a financial cushion for unexpected expenses so choosing how much to put down isn't just about meeting minimum requirements. It's about what feels comfortable for your financial situation. It's about striking a balance between making your monthly payments manageable and maintaining a safety net for those rainy days. So what should you consider when deciding on a down payment? Well, there are several factors to keep in mind. First off, consider your personal budget. It's important to figure out how much you can realistically afford to put down without completely depleting your savings. You don't want to leave yourself in a bind where you're struggling to make ends meet. Next, consider the current mortgage rates. If rates are low, it might make sense to put down less and take advantage of the cheap borrowing costs. But if rates are high, a larger down payment could help you save money over the life of the loan. Finally, think about property values. If home prices are rising rapidly, a larger down payment could help you secure a home before prices go up even more. But if prices are relatively stable, there might not be such a rush. Remember, the right down payment for you is one that fits your budget and goals. So, what are the key points to remember about down payments? Well, let's recap. A down payment is that chunk of change you pay up front when buying a home. It's not some mythical beast requiring you to fork over 20% of the home's price. No Siri, it's flexible. You can put down less, but remember, the size of your down payment can affect your mortgage and interest rates. A larger down payment could mean smaller monthly payments and less interest over time. Conversely, a smaller one could mean more manageable upfront costs. Of course, the right down payment for you is one that snugly fits your budget and aligns with your goals. It's all about balance, folks. With this knowledge in your pocket, you're one step closer to making an informed decision about your future home purchase. Remember, knowledge is power. Did you know there are programs to assist with down payments? Yes, you heard that right. Many states, cities, and even some employers offer down payment assistance programs. These programs are like your fairy godmothers in the home buying process. They can provide grants or low interest loans to help you with that initial chunk of change. You're probably thinking, this sounds fantastic, but what's the catch? Well, eligibility for these programs often depends on factors like 
your income, credit score, and whether you're a first-time home buyer, but don't let that deter you. Even if you don't qualify for one program, there might be another one that's a perfect fit. So don't let a large down payment scare you away from homeownership. Help is available and it's worth exploring your options. Remember, every little bit helps when you're saving for a home.